my channel. You've seen the thumbnail today, we're making some brooches. I'm really excited. So let me show you quickly. I've recently purchased these. How many did you get? Nine or 10 in a pack? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got 10 in the pack. So these are Cabochans, Cabochans. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. And then they came with the glass. It begins with a B. I'm rubbish. If I can, I'll link where I got these. But I did get them off Amazon or eBay. I am so rubbish. And on the back here, obviously, we have got the clasp for a brooch. It also has this ring here. So you could like put it on a on a zip or you could make it a key ring or a necklace. But we're making brooches today. So I've got a whole range of brooches in mind and I can't wait to get creative. There are literally, I was only meant to make about three, but the ideas got better of me. So on here, I have some pictures of things that I want to put in the brooches. So we're going to make an umbrage pin, pin, pin. We're going to, no, brooch, not even a pin, so good. We got Ravenclaw, Flying Keys, the Chamber of Secrets door. Um, I love that door, please, yeah. We've got the Hogwarts crest, we've got Hagrid's hut here, and we've got Harry with a golden snitch. It will all make sense when I start making each one of these up. So yeah, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're making seven brooches today and I'm really, really excited. And seriously, there are so many more ideas you could do with this. But yeah, if you would like to see how I make these brooches, they're gonna be pretty simple to do. Thank you for watching. And if this is the first time you've seen my face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you love anything to do with Harry Potter, this is the place for you. Join the magic and mayhem, hit subscribe because I'd love to have you. That really rhymes and yeah, it just amazes me every time I say it. I don't know why, what is wrong with me. Massive thank you to these guys. These guys are my Patreons. They help me keep this channel running just that little bit more. If you'd like to know anything about Patreon, it's linked in the description of this video, along with my social medias. Go see what I'm up to on those. I'm excited. Let's make some brooches. So the first thing we need to do is obviously cut these out in the shape of the brooches. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna place these. Obviously I have done them sort of to scale on the computer to print them off. But all I need to do is place on each picture exactly what part of the picture I want in my brooch. And then with a pencil, I'm gonna draw around them all and then cut them out. have everything we have everything cut out now i've put my ring claw one in i just need to line it up but what i'm going to do is i'm going to pva the back of it in there and i'm going to stick it in there and then what i'll be doing is just putting some pva on top to stick that in now i know pva works because i have done it was a Christmas tree decoration at Christmas. I did an umbrage. It was in one of these sort of things, but it was bigger and it wasn't a brooch. It was for a decoration. So I did an umbrage one for the Christmas tree and I used PVA on that. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna use PVA. So what, yeah, what I wanna do now is get all of these sort of glued into their things so that they can be drying. Okay, so they are all in. Oh, look at them, they look so cool. They're still drying, but I just wanted to quickly tell you, if you noticed, the Chamber of Secrets drawer had white above and below. Well, all I did was colored the white in with a black Sharpie, but the black that was around the door that was printed off is a bit lighter than the Sharpie, so I kind of had to go over that, but it's turned out pretty well, I think. So yeah, what I need to do now, is just let these dry and then yeah what I want to do is I want to get the glass stuck in I'll probably do it off camera to be fair because all I'm literally doing I'll show you I'm just coating a bit of PVA glue with a paintbrush on top of there and then just putting the glass on in the middle and leaving it to dry but yeah these 
oh, I am starting to see something with these and I can't wait to get all the little embellishments and bits of chain hanging off them. I'm going to make them look really fancy. Okay guys, so this is done. My Ravenclaw one is done. I am not adding anything else to this one. This is done. So I'm going to put that one to the side. So we have one finished brooch. I want to move on to Hagrid's hook brooch here. So I absolutely love how that looks in there. Um, they're not quite dry yet by the way, but I can still work with them. Now I want to add some little dangly things on here. So I have these umbrellas. Um, we love Hagrid's umbrella, don't we? But Hagrid's umbrella isn't silver. So I have some brown nail polish, which I'm going to paint the handle with. And I have some pink nail polish, which I will paint the umbrella with as well. And this tip here will be brown too. So yes, we are gonna do that. But first, I think, because if you see, look, there's little holes on here. So I have some jump rings. These open up. I have used these before. I used them last Saturday, um, but I will show you again. But I used silver ones in last Saturday's video. I'm just got my tools out there for the jump rings. So I've got my wire cutters and I want some chain. I've kind of off camera measured a bit of chain and I kind of want to do five links. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll cut the sixth link. Um, please have in mind that as well, um, yeah, there we go, it's fell. Uh, yeah, please have in mind, obviously, we're adding a jump ring to attach the chain to there and a jump ring at the bottom to attach, attach, attach the pumpkin on, so it will be a little bit longer, so keep that in mind when cutting chain. Then it will be a bit longer, but yeah, so I just want two of these. <coughs> I just wanted to add some Hagrid feels to the pin and make it fancy. So yeah, right. I also bought these off, because I have only got gold and silver in chain and um, jewelry findings. So obviously I had to go and find some bronze. I think I was typing an antique um, and nothing was really coming up. And then I typed in bronze and lo and behold, we found some. So, uh it's quite weak metal this it's not very good but it'll do it'll do so yeah now i shouldn't have done that up because i've got to attach the chain so let's just quickly attach the chain to this okay open that up and there we go our chain is attached and then what i need to do now is open another jump ring up Add the other bit of chain and then loop it onto here. So let's add that bit of chain through there. So we now have this and I think we should just do them in these little holes down here at the bottom because we're only gonna have two charms. And let's see what this looks like. Come on. Yeah, I don't really like this metal. But there we go. Okay, so we have a pumpkin, which is just beautiful. And then I don't want this down here. So I'm definitely not gonna have the same amount of chain. So I think literally two links, or I could even get away with just adding one jump ring to the silver hoop and connecting it to there. I might even do that and not, I know I kind of want a bit of chain. I might have two links. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly count two links. One, two, and then cut the third one. Like so. You might think, what's the point? But trust me, trust me, trust me. So yeah, before obviously I attach this, I need to get paint in this. Okay guys, so this is dry. So what I need to do now, I have already put them two links on there with a jump ring. So now with my other jump ring, I need to attach it, the umbrella, sorry, to the other end of the two links. 
and I can't get this open. There we go. Right. Okay, that is still a little bit tacky, but it's fine. It's fine. And get that on there. And then close it up and then let's have a look at her. Let's see what it looks like. Oh dear, come on. Okay, it must have been like the other jump ring, but I do quite like this metal, it's fine. It's fine, it must have just been that odd one. Let's have a look. Okay, I quite like that. I could imagine myself wearing that. I think that looks really, really cool. So we have got our Hagrid brooch and we've got a Ravenclaw one all finished. I'm happy with that. Let's pick another one to start decorating. The next one now I'm going to decorate is the Quidditch one. So we've got a nice picture of Harry with the golden snitch there. Now what I want to do is make a golden snitch. So I have got a golden bead and two silver wings here. And I kind of want to, I'm going to have to figure this out, but I want the golden snitch obviously dangling. That wing's the wrong way. So we'll have like this golden snitch dangling from there. So I think I need a bit of chain from maybe up here on them. Obviously coming down onto there. I will figure this out one second. First things first though guys, actually I am gonna make the golden snitch. So hang on, let me figure this out. I need to make a loop this end. There we go, there's our loop. And then we're gonna thread the bead on like so and then I need to put if you saw Luna's video I tend to do like my fingertip roughly width away so let's cut that off this wire that I'm using isn't exactly a really amazing piece of wire but um it's quite flimsy but it still does the job so we're fine so we have got two loops there that one needs closing up a little bit more. You must make sure your loops are closed so then nothing, to be fair, I need to open it up again anyway. Because now I need to put these wings on. So let me figure this out. Hang on. Does it go that way? Does it go that way? No, it needs to go the other way, Sudo. And then we'll close it up again. There we go, so we have one wing on there. I do have this the wrong way, I think. Yes, no, hang on. Yes, I do. I'll get the wing the right way, but yeah, I need a wing on each side of there. And I do think I wanna cut a bit more of this wire because that loops doing my head and it's a little bit too big. We have our golden snitch, guys. So yeah, I kinda want it hanging from the brooch. So what I need to do, is I need a bit of chain, probably. Uh, so we want it attached, obviously this end attached to this loop that we've made, but I will use a jump ring instead of opening this up again. Um, and then obviously I need the right length. So I'm gonna have to have the same length on either side, which is easy to do because you just count your links. I think we're probably gonna do one, two, three, four, five, maybe six links on each side. So let me just count, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we cut link number seven, like so. And then obviously again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Cut link number seven again. And then, yeah, I just need to get both of these attached to this. I'm going to put it on the wire, not the charm. Um, yeah, I can't remember. I've put all the right in front of me, Susie, on my days. I need two of these because, yeah, what I'll do is I'll just quickly attach two jump rings with the chain to there. And there we have our Quidditch slash Golden Snitch brooch. So, yeah, I just, with a jump ring, attach the chain to the wire either side. And then obviously with a jump ring attached it through the Cabo Chan or whatever it's called. So yeah, we have, this is really cool. Okay, I really like this. It's quite fancy. I'm loving making these. 
The next one we're going to do guys is the Hogwarts one. You can still see it's drying because the paper's still a bit wet inside. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take to dry. But I want to add a hat, a witch's hat down here, but I kind of want to make it look sorting hat. So with my brown nail polish, the first thing I'm going to do is paint this brown. Nail polish is great to use on jewellery because it's a really nice glaze. Um, I've always used nail polish on little charms to add a bit of colour and um, you can seal it as well. I sometimes seal them with, I do have gel polishes and obviously a nail lamp so I will put a clear coat when the nail polish is completely dry, clear coat of gel and stick it in my lamp but you don't have to do that, they don't tend to scratch off but yeah it does work as a perfect glaze but yeah I'm going to quickly off camera give this a brown coat to give it a sorting hat look. Okay, so we have a little sorting hat. He's really cute. So what I wanna do, I've done this quickly off camera. I've cut six links length, six links length of chain. That was a bit of a tongue twister. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a jump ring on each end and attach them so they dangle a bit down here. Um, I'm going to figure it out off camera, but I think it will be these two and the bottom two, if I have done this correctly. Um, but yeah, that's what I want to do next. And then I kind of want to do another dangly one. I, can't, I want them dangling. I might have done them two a bit. I might have to do them eight links. It's fine because these won't get wasted. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change it. I'm going to make two eight links length chain. Oh, that is such a mouthful. And just going to jump ring them to there and there. And then I'll be back with you and show you what I've done. Okay, so I have my dangly chain on here. Um, eight links seem to work for me just fine. You could have them longer if you wanted, but they do dangle just fine. It's really hard to show you laid flat. Um, but yeah, stood up, they dangle really, really well. Stood up, I mean upright, you know what I mean. But yeah, I like how they're dangling. So what I want to do now is I want to add, because we have got two more holes right down here that don't have anything on them. And I want to add, obviously, my sorting hat just dangling a bit down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get a little bit of chain, probably four links, maybe, no, I'll have to do five, I'll have to do an odd number, um, and then I'll show you what we're doing. Right, I've got my five links, now I'll tell you why it needed to be an odd number, because I need to find the middle link, because I'm actually going to put the sorting hat in the middle. This is going to be very fiddly and I'll probably do a lot of this off camera so that I can get it up close and personal because I ain't got my glasses on and I can't find them and I'm going to need this close to my face I think. So yeah, there is the middle link, the third link. Uh, is it? Is it? Yes it is. And then we'll put our sorting hat on there and then close that back up. Now this bit's going to be quite fiddly because it's only a short piece of chain. All I'm going to do is, 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 it's fiddly already. Obviously we've got that in the centre of a piece of chain. I now need to get a jump ring on each end of the chain and get it put on the loop. So yeah, I'll probably do that bit off camera and then I'll be back to show you. Okay, so I've got it all fixed on. I really like this brooch. Just imagine the, oh no, it's dangling a bit. Look, look at that. That is really nice. We've got some nice fancy chain and we've got a sorting hat and a Hogwarts crest. I really like that. That is pin number four. I'm now going to go get some dinner because I'm rather hungry. And then I think we should get on with our Chamber of Secrets one. I really like this. Oh, I think that looks awesome. And that Sharpie has done the job. So yeah, be back soon. Okay, I'm back. So uh, plans for this one. We have two school heads. These are absolutely adorable. I love them. And we have a little silver snake. Now I'm actually gonna paint this green with my green nail polish that is green it looks blue on camera but it's not I assure you it's green so yeah I kind of want to paint this green 
give it a glaze. Um, yeah, that's what I need to do first. So yeah, I will get this painted green. Kind of changed my mind a little bit. So <clears throat> I've took one of the skulls away. I'm actually just gonna have it dangling down here. So what I need to do is I need to cut some wire. Um, I'm just gonna take a wild guess. We're gonna make a loop in one end. This wire is a little bit better than the other one is that I was using. It's a little bit stiffer and I do need to make that loop a bit bigger actually. I've made a mess of that loop. Look. There we go, we have a loop. So I need to thread this guy on here. Um, I do need to open that loop back up actually. So we'll do that now and we'll add our snake into the loop and then we'll close it back up again. Okay, that needs opening a little bit more. I think the snake is still a little bit tacky, but it's fine. I've got this. There we go. And then do the loop back up again. There we go. So we have our snake and our skull on there. So now I'm gonna cut just a bit off here. Um, I know I didn't measure with my finger, but because I've been doing this for quite a while now, you kind of get the grip, um, get the gist of it, you get used to it, and you kind of know in your head how big. This loop doesn't need to be as big because I'm actually going to be, yeah, that snake's still a bit tacky. It's fine, it's fine. I'm actually gonna be putting a jump ring through there anyway. So, oh yes, I do like this. So we are gonna add a bit of chain like we did with the Hogwarts one from sort of there, there dangling. And then I'm gonna have a bit of chain to have that dangling there too. So what I need to do, <coughs> if I remember rightly, I need two pieces of this that are eight links long and one piece that's five links long. Okay guys, so I have got one piece of chain there. So I'm now gonna mirror this onto this side. And um, yeah, it's just the same as the Hogwarts crest one with the sorting hat. But obviously we're gonna be putting this on. I think this is gonna look really cool. I really do. But yeah, let's mirror this other side. Right, so we've got them mirrored on there. Really like this. I am actually going to show you them on me, each one of them, when I'm done, so that you can see them all. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited about doing that. You need to get out of my way. I don't even know why you're there. Right, I don't need that because we've already got. We've got our five links. <laughs> so let me open a jump ring up. Put that there. Do you know, I'm trying to work around my tripod and I think I've said this in a lot of my DIYs, it's not easy. Right, I need to find the middle link on it here. Come on. This is the problem when you're working with tiny bits. <laughs> but uh, we get there, we get there. Right, there it is. Get that in there. Come on, there we go. Yes. And then hook this thing onto here. Don't even know if I'm showing you properly. I'm concentrating too much. Okay, so yeah, what I need to do now is like the sorting hat one, these two holes that we've got at the bottom here, we've got one there and one there. I just need to add two jump rings onto there on each end of the link. But I am gonna do it off camera again because with the chain being so small, it's fiddly and I literally need it held up to my face. So here we have our Chamber of Secrets one. It will look so much better on than in my hand because trying to lay it flat, things just sort of crunch up in your hand. But I will be showing you them properly. Once they're all done, let's see if I can do it. No, it's not really happening. But this is the Chamber of Secrets one. So that's five we've done now. We've got two more left to do. And I think the next one we're going to do is Umbridge. That's still a bit wet actually. It'll be fine. Okay, so for, for Umbridge's brooch, we have, I wanted to do her quilt. So what I need to do with this is I do need to glaze it black with black nail polish. So I will do that in a second. But we have this teacup and saucer, which I am gonna keep as it is. Um, originally I thought about putting nail polish on it and making it pink, but I think it will be a bit too much pink if I do that. So instead, what I'm gonna do is 
I am going to add a string of pink beads that lead down to the handle of the teacup. I think I'm going to do that and then obviously we'll have her black quill on the other side. But yeah, literally, if I can get this open, there we go. All I want to do is just give this. I've only been given one coat, guys, as well. Just put a bit of black on just to I might need another coat actually. Oh no, no, we're fine. We're fine. But obviously Umbridge's quill is black, the horrible quill she uses. So yeah. It's gonna look cool this. So there is Umbridge's quill. I only like to put one coat on because I do quite like that you can see the sort of normal colour of the charm a little bit underneath. Um, it gives it a bit of a worn look, which I do like. Now what I've got is I've got a, a bit of chain here. There's three links. So what I want to do is open my jump ring. Working around a tripod again. It's very fiddly very fiddly and then we're just going to put the end onto there she says there we go and then put the quill onto there do that up hopefully this is all in focus i apologize so deeply if not so there we have our quill hanging on a bit of chain so all i need to do now is add another jump ring to this side and attach it to one of these bottom ones here. I think I'm gonna put it on the left hand side. So there we have her quill. Oh, it's looking good. And now I just want the teacup hanging on the other side. So what I need to do, I've got a bit of silver wire here. I just need to make a loop one end. I'll leave it open actually, and I'm gonna put the teacup on it. And then we'll close the loop like so. And then the teacup, is safely on there <coughs> and then we're just oh we're gonna add these beads on I've got three I think three will be plenty um hopefully this pink looks okay we just thread that one on and we'll just have a quick look and in the shape let's have a quick look I think that looks okay yeah, I think that looks fine. So yeah, I need to snip my wire now. There they are, that's looking for me wire cutters. So I'll snip it about there. Now do I add chain or am I not going to need to? I will soon find out. Just make a loop with this. That is such a rubbish loop, Suze. That is not a loop. That is not a loop. <clears throat> there we go, that's better. Okay, so I've made a loop. Let's have a look. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't think I'm gonna put any chain, but I, I'm gonna attach it with another one of my jump rings. So literally, yeah, all I wanna do is add a jump ring to the loop of this wire and just add it next to the quill on there. And there we have our ombridge brooch. Yeah, that cat is still drying in there. It will dry, don't worry. It's just taking its time. So we have got one, two, three, four, five, six brooches. We've got one more to make. So for this last one, we have the flying key scene in there. I absolutely love this. It's gorgeous. And I have some tiny keys here that I am gonna dangle down there. Now, I kind of want to add some little wings to these keys. Let me see if I can find something. We have got four silver wings here and obviously four jump rings. So what I need to do is, let's open a jump ring up. Um, and then put a wing in here. Like so. And then just, hang on. Yeah, that's right. Add, no, add the key through. Come on. There we go. Through there. And then close it back up again. And there we have one wing on. Come on, you go down there, please. Don't do this to me. Okay, so I need to fiddle about with that, but oh no, it's done it now. So we've got one wing on there. So I now need to get a wing on this side and do the same on this key because obviously I can get the jump rings through the two little holes at the bottom there. So yeah, let's make some flying keys. 
So there we have our two flying keys. Absolutely love how they've turned out. Literally, guys, I think all I'm going to do, it doesn't need any chain to this. All I'm going to do on these two bottom holes down here, I'm going to add each key just with, obviously, a jump ring through each of the little loops on the top there and just attach them to there. And there we have our flying key brooch. I don't know which one my favourite is, but I am actually going to show you them all on. And then you can tell me your favourite in the comments as well. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at how these look on. Okay, so I'm trying to show you the best I possibly can. But how cool do these look? The golden snitch with a quidditch. We've got the Hogwarts with the sorting hat. I do really, as much as I haven't got any danglies on this, it's just a nice Ravenclaw brooch. We've got Hagrid's hut with his umbrella and pumpkin. Chamber of Secrets umbrage and flying keys it's a bit wonky these two are wonky because i kind of i was trying to spread hang on if i do that no that does not help i feel like i'm in guides again when i was younger i was in a thing called guides and uh it's like i've won badges and things for you know doing cool stuff but yeah i really like these and you're gonna have to tell me in the comments which one your favorite is i don't know how to show you my face and the brooches there we go what do we think? Let me know in the comments, guys. This is really hurting my back. <laughs> have you done DIY brooches or pin badges? Let me know in the comments. If you have and you want to show me, make sure you send me photos on my social medias because I love seeing your creations. You know I do. But I have had the best time making these and Patreons, I am doing a giveaway with you guys. Definitely one of you are going to win one of these. You can pick which, whoever wins can pick which brooch that they want. I am so pleased with how these have turned out though. I absolutely love them. This is really hurting my back in this position. But if you've enjoyed this video guys, please give it a massive thumbs up for me because it helps me more than you know and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye Potter Puppets.